And salam, sabi ko nga po muli, it's another year. Pagkakataon na muli tayong uh, makabawi, sabi natin sa mga pagkukulang natin last year. And ang ating theme for the next month is the year of increase. Pag sinabi yung year of increase, ano na pumapasok sa isip nyo? Sabi ko na eh. Kahit ako eh, nung narinig ko yung year of increase, sana may, sa, may increase ng sahod. So pag sinabi natin increase ng sahod, it goes with the blessing. Ang sahod, blessing, di ba? Kasi kung wala ang sahod, wala kang ipoprovide sa family mo, wala kang pangkain. So, so, may sahod naman, delayed nga lang. So, na-experience ng karamihan sa atin yung madelay yung sahod. Yung iba, na-experience ngayon. Pero sabi nga, ang taon na darating, taon-taon is a year of increase pag nasa Panginoon. Laging may paglago. Um, bago ako mag-start, bigyan kayo ng kwento. Pinamagatan nating a jar of candy. Ah, walang bata rito. But uh, alam lahat, halos lahat sa atin may anak, may pamangkin, may kapatid na bata. May mag-ina pumunta sa isang uh, tindahan. E yung anak niya, parang yung anak ko at anak ni Jacob. Hindi sila marunong mahiya. <laughs> ah, smart. Uh, smart sila. Yung tipong uh, sa Apple sila nag-aaral. <laughs> so, kung gusto nyo maging gano'n yung anak nyo, sa Apple nyo pag-aralin. Now, what I mean is, yung pagpumunta sila sa isang lugar, hindi sila nag-hesitate magsabi na kung anong gusto. Uh, Pumasok sila sa isang grocery, sabi nung may-ari, naglabas siya na isang jar of candy. Sabi niya sa bata, take a handful. Ah, binigyan siya ng isang jar, sabi, take a handful of candy. Isipin niyo si Grant, saka yung anak ko, sinabihan ng take a handful. Kukuha, hindi kukuha? Kukuha, kukuha siyempre. Yung bata, hindi. Hindi siya kumuha. Hindi siya kumuha. So, matagal sinabi nung may-ari na kumuha ka ng ano, candy. Ayaw nung bata. So, nag-decide yung may-ari, siya ang kumuha ng handful. Ibinigay dun sa bata. Paglabas nila, sabi nung nanay-anak, parang hindi ikaw yun ah. Ba't hindi ka kumuha ng candy? Kasi po, his hands are bigger. Do you get it? Diba? Ganun yung minsan pinipilit natin yung gusto natin sa binibigay ng Panginoon. Tandaan nyo, ang kamay ng Panginoon is way, way bigger sa kamay natin. Amen? So, let us close in prayer. Yun na lang po yung message natin today. <laughs> diba? Lahat ba tayo tumayo? Basahin natin ng Luke chapter 5. Read with me. Go. Now it came about that while the multitude were pressing around him and listening to the word of God, He was standing by the lake of Jesus. And he saw two boats lying at the edge of the lake, but the fisherman had gotten out of them and washing their nets. And he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put a little way from the land. And he sat down and began teaching the multitudes from the boat. And when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and let down your net for a catch. And Simon answered and said, Master, we worked hard all night and caught nothing. But at your bidding, I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great quantity of fish and their nets began to break. And they signaled to their partners in the other boat for them to come and help them. And they came and filled both so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw that, For I am a sinful man, O Lord. For amazement has seized him and all his companions because of the great... And also James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not fear, from now on you will be catching men. And when they had brought their boats to the land, They left everything and followed Him. Let us all pray. Panginoon, salamat tong muli sa umagang ito. I pray that you forgive me for all the things, things that I have done, for all the sins na ginagawa ko, Panginoon. Cleanse me. Gamitin mo lamang po akong daluyan ng iyong pagpapala. Let your voice be heard. Let your presence be felt. At ang salita mo lamang, Panginoon, ang tumimo sa puso ng bawat isang narito. Itago niyo po ako 
walang ibang matatas kundi ang pangalan nyo lamang. Buksan ang puso namin, Panginoon, hindi lang na makikinig, maging ako, Panginoon, to accept and to do the things na gusto mo ipagawa sa amin. Muli, Panginoon, this day belongs to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. Kung babasahin niyo yung Bible niyo, meron diyan subtitle. I am I am laging particular sa subtitle ng mga mga scriptures natin. It's the first disciples. It's the calling of the first disciples. But we will not focus on the calling of the first disciples. We will look on something na gusto nating lahat. Ano bang gusto nating lahat? Oh, tama si kay Jacob. We all want blessing. Sinong ayaw ng blessing? Sinong gusto ng blessing? Sinong gusto ng ayaw na walang blessing? <laughs> Hindi nyo naintindihan, no? Naguluhan, ha? Pat lahat tayo, gusto natin ng blessing. Anong klaseng blessing? Material blessing. Kasi we always uh, think na ang blessing is material blessing. Sabi nga nila, pagka tumatanda ka na, the greatest blessing you could ever have is your health. Pagbata, hindi nila iniisip yun eh. Pag tumatanda na, marami ng maintenance. But now, balik tayo sa ating scripture for today. Sabi dyan, Now it came about that while the multitude were pressing him around him and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of? Lake of ano daw? Genesaret. Saan yung lake of Genesaret? Hindi nyo alam. Hindi nyo alam. Pag sinabi kong Ang Lake of Genesaret is the Sea of Galilee. Alam nyo na? Ang Lake of Genesaret is the same as the Sea of Galilee. Kasi part siya ng Sea of Galilee. Kasi sa area siya ng Genesaret. So yung part ng Sea of Galilee, tinawag nilang Lake of Genesaret. Alam nyo kung nasan yung Lake Sea of Galilee? Nandito. Ayan. No. <laughs> no. Siyempre, nasa ay nasa saan? Nasa Israel? Wala sa, li- wala sa li- yun lang yung Lebanon na kasulat lang sa taas. Bakit, sina- bakit binanggit yung Lake of Genesaret or Sea of Galilee? Importante siya, sinabi siya, nasa Lake of Genesaret daw si Jesus at yung kanyang mga disciples. Bakit sinabi? Kung babalikan natin yung mga kaganapan, mga miracles of Jesus Christ, halos karamihan doon, happened in the Sea of Galilee. Kasi Sea of Galilee is a place of blessing. Laging sinasabi yan, di ba? Hindi pwede, hindi pwede naman sabihin na sa may dagat sila. Sea of Galilee, uh, Tiberias Lake, or Lake of Genesaret, laging sinasabi sa Bible. Because most of God's miracle happened in the Sea of Galilee. Kaya laging nababanggit yan. So merong lugar, nung panahon na yon. na paborito. Hindi ba sa amin paborito? Most of them happened in the Sea of Galilee. Yung 5,000 dyan pinakain. Yung pinalaya, yung uh, masamang espiritu, dyan ang yari. Yung kinalman niya yung Sea of Galilee, malamang dyan ang yari kasi kinalman niya yung Sea of Galilee. He calmed the storm, the same place. So, binanggit ang Lake of Genesaret because it's a place of blessing. Bakit siya naging place of blessing? Dahil ba sa lugar? Hindi, dahil nandun si Jesus Christ. Kasi hindi siya tatawaging place of blessing kung walang Jesus Christ na nandun. Kasi He is the one who is doing, or who, who's the one who have done the miracles nung panahon na yon. So where's the place of blessing? Kung saan nandoon si Jesus Christ. So kung kasama nyo si Jesus Christ, my blessing. Ano ibig sabihin ba ng blessing? Pagmamano ng mga bata. <laughs> blessing, di ba blessing, blessing 'yon. Sabi nila, sabi ng isang uh, pastor, blessing is experiencing, enjoying and transferring the goodness of God in your life. It is experiencing, enjoying and the most important is the transferring of goodness na nanggagaling sa Panginoon. Kung experience lang at enjoying at walang transferring, you cannot call it blessing. Kasi ang blessing means transfer. Naniniwala kayo doon? Parang ayaw nyo ah. Tingin nyo, bakit kayo pinagpapala ng Panginoon? Para lang ipagmalaki na successful ako sa bansang ito. Para ipagmalaki sa Pilipinas na 
Kumanta punta ako ng abroad kasi gusto ko ipakita sa inyo na mali ang sinasabi niyo na mahirap kami. Mayaman na kami ngayon. Bukas, luluhod ang mga tala. Blessing means transfer. Laging may transfer. You will never call it blessing kung hindi mo itinatransfer sa iba. Amen? Next, the purpose ng blessing. Yun ang pag-aaralan natin ngayong araw na ito. What is the purpose ng blessing? Bakit tayo pinagpapala? Bakit tayo humihiling ng increase? Bakit tayo humihiling ng papapala nagmamula sa Panginoon? Binibigay sa atin ng Panginoon yun dahil may purpose. At yung purpose na yun, yun yung pag-aaralan natin ngayong umaga. Sabi yan, Now it came about that while the multitude were pressing around him and listening to the word of God. May stampede. Kung uh, you visualize this, multitude were pressing around him and listening to the word of God. Imagine if kung ang tao, naalala nyo yung pinakamatinding stampede sa Pilipinas. Kailan yun? Kay Wawawi. Oh, we, Wawawi. Bakit naguunahan kay Wawawi? May, may city sa kajaket. Imagine ninyo itong mga taong ito, nagsisiksikan, nagtutulakan, para saan? Marinig ang salita ng Diyos. Ngayon, saan sila nagsisiksikan? Kay, kay Willie Rebillame. Imagine if the people before are tulad ng mga taong, kung ang mga taong ngayon ay tulad ng mga taong noon, malamang hindi tayo kasya rito. Kasi ang mga taong noon, they are desiring to listen to the word of God. Kaya kahit mahirap, kahit nagsisiksikan, kahit mainit, kahit masikip, they tried to go there. Pero ngayon, nasa hotel na, malamig, may kape ka pa, hindi na pupunta. But, bakit pumunta itong mga taong to? Gusto lang ba nila makinig sa salita ng Diyos? Or is there something else? Kasi prior sa verse na to, Jesus healed, marami siyang ginawang miracles, so the people may purpose other than listening to the Word of God. Kasi meron silang kailangan kay Jesus Christ. They want miracles in their lives. Ganun din tayo eh. Naalala nyo nung hindi pa kayo mananampalataya ng Panginoong Jesus. Sa isang lugar, kung may nagpapagaling, maipagsiksikan talaga kayo. Basta gumaling ka lang. Yung mga tao yung ganun. Ang sabi nga, the people pressed upon him to hear the Word of God because of personal benefits. Pumunta sila ron, ipagsiksikan sila ron, ipagtulakan sila ron. Malamang iba na ipagtagtsakan doon dahil sa personal benefits. Yung iba may sakit. Yung iba gusto ng miracle para sa anak. That is the purpose ng blessing para sa kanila. Personal benefits. They go to church for personal benefits. But, Jesus Christ hindi. Iba yung purpose niya. Kasi sabi dyan, and he got into one of the boats which was Simon's and asked him to put out a little way from the land and sat down and began teaching the multitude. Prior to verse 5, as chapter 5 verse 3, so chapter 4 verse 4, sabi niya, I must preach the kingdom of God for I was sent for this purpose. Kung ang mga tao is doing it for personal benefit, Jesus Christ is preaching because he is purpose driven. Kasi sabi niyan, I was sent for this purpose. Now, ang tanong, alam niyo ba yung ating purpose? Tayo yung multitude o tayo tulad ni Jesus Christ? You choose. Kadalasan, we are the people who are looking for our personal benefits. Pupunta tayo sa church for personal benefits. Hindi ko naman sinasabing lahat. Karamihan din naman pumupunta rito dahil alam nila yung purpose nila bakit sila nandito dito. Amen? Now, and when he said, he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and let down your net for a catch. Nandun siya sa, mar- sa lake of Genesaret, so tabi ng dagat. Maraming tao, nagpipreach ron. Natapos yung preaching niya sa isang church. Sabi natin, multitude. So nagsalita siya sa multitude, now it came sa personal message. Kasi kakausapin na niya si, si Simon. Sabi nga, Jesus Christ came from a preaching 
to a personal message kay Simon. Sabi nga nila, do not go to church for the word of God. Go to church to get a word from God. Kumbaga, every message, every Friday, think of it as personal message sa'yo. Hindi yung basta makarinig ka lang ng salita ng Diyos. You are here to have a conversation with God sa pamamagitan ng kanyang salita. Take every message, take every scripture, message sa'yo ng Panginoon. Kadalasan kasi, pagka naikinig tayo ng Friday services sa ating mga pastor, sa ating mga preacher, sabihin natin, Uy, si ano yun? O, diba? Uy, si ano yan? Ganyan siya. You have to think na lahat ng message para sa'yo. So, when you, you come here to church, not just for the word of God, but a word from God. So, tapos na si Jesus Christ mag-preach sa multitude. He's talking to Simon. Anong sabi ni Jesus sa Simon? Put out into a deep water and let down your net for a catch. Anong araw to? Umaga to. It is morning kasi sabi doon, naglilikpit na ng net sila. Simon. Jesus gives a specific instruction. Specific hindi specific. Ang sabi, put into a deep water. Pumunta ka sa gitna ng dagat. Specific? O, di ba? Sa gitna ng dagat. Let down your net. Nets for a catch. Hindi naman, madali na maintindihin, no? Pag sinabing pumunta ka sa gitna ng dagat, ano ibig sabihin? Pumunta ka sa gitna ng dagat. Pag sinabing ihulog mo yung lambat, ibig sabihin, ihulog mo yung lambat. But anong sagot ni Peter? Sabi niya, Master, we work hard all night and cost nothing. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Hindi nyo maintindihan. Explain ko. Sa mga sino mga nangingisda, mga mga fishermen dito, hindi ka nangingisda sa gitna ng umaga. Di ba? Nangingisda ka, it's either gabi o madaling araw. At nangingisda ka, hindi sa gitna ng laot. Nangingisda ka malapit sa pangpang. Tama po ba ako sa mga nangingisda? O, oh, di ba? Ang sabi ng Panginoon kay Simon, go into the deep. Hindi ka mangingisda sa gitna ng dagat. At umagang umaga yun. Ang sabi nga niya, we work hard all night. Because hindi ka makakahuli ng isda pag tirik na yung araw. So, what is Peter saying, Jesus Christ? Mangingisda ako. Simula bata, yung tatay ko mangingisda, ako mangingisda, ang kinabubuhay ko mangingisda. Karpintero ka eh. Ba't mo sinasabi sa akin pumunta ako sa gitna ng dagat? You cannot catch fish there. At ngayong araw pa nga ito, hindi ka makakahuli ng isda ngayong araw na ito. Simon is doubting Jesus Christ. O kasi, Simon have all the experience in his life. Tatay niya malamang mangingisda, siya mangingisda. Sabi nga, mayroon silang korporasyon nila. Sino kasama niya? Andrew and John. The son of Zebedee. They are partners. So, meron silang business venture ng pangingisda. So, ito yung kinabubuhay nila. This is the business they have. So, alam niya kung saan nangingisda, alam niya kung kailan mangingisda. <laughs> Kaya sinasabi niya kay Jesus Christ, parang mali ata yung sinasabi sa akin. Kasi nga, hindi naman ito yung aking pinag-aralan. Hindi naman ito yung basa ang experience. Jesus Christ gives a specific instruction which seems illogical to men. Illogical kay Simon yun. Di ba? Experience-wise, hindi siya tama. Pero yun talaga yun eh. Kadalas ang binibigyan tayo ng instruction ng Panginoon na hindi natin maintindihan. At kadalasan din para tayong si Simon. Sinasabihan natin, Lord, hindi mo alam yun. Parang hindi maganda sabihin sa Panginoon, hindi mo alam yun, no? We will look on that later. Lazarus. Kilala nyo si Lazarus. Sino si Lazarus? Ang sabi ni Jesus, kanina sinabi kay Martha, sabi niya kay Martha, remove the stone. Specific hindi specific? Oh, ang dali lang, di ba? Remove the stone. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Oh, di remove the stone? Hindi naman sinabing gumapang ka muna. Magtambling ka muna. It's specific. It's direct. Remove the stone. But ang sabi ni Martha, Lord, by this time, there will be stench for he has been dead 
for days. Mabaho na daw. Jesus Christ gives a specific instruction which seems illogical to men. Bakit sinabing four days? Scientifically speaking, kapag 24 hours to 72 hours ka ng patay, at uh, to tell you, hindi inimbal sa mo ang patay nung panahon na yan. 24 to 72 hours, yung internal organs na decompose. So naunang na decompose yung ating internal organs. Eh hindi ni inimbal sa mo si Lazarus. Malamang, decompose na yung kanyang internal organs, 24 to 72 hours. Ilang araw yon? E eh, four days na. And three to five days, lumalabas na daw yung mga foam sa ilong, sa bibig, sa mata, sa tenga. So malamang, mabaho na. Experience ni Martha, sabi nga ni Jesus Christ, I do not, I do not care about your biological knowledge. I don't care kung alam mo yung history ko, anong mangyayari after 24 hours, after 3 days, after 4, four days. Ang sabi ko lang, remove the stone. Yun din ang sinabi niya kay Simon, I don't care kung ano experience mo. Just go to the deep, throw your nets. Pero ang sabi ng tao, Lord, pero hindi po yun yung alam ko. Hmm. ba? Jesus said, did I not say to you, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. Sabi nga, blessed are those who do not see, but they believe. But when Jesus heard it, he said, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of Man may be glorified by it. Bakit hindi natin maintindihan yung mga nangyayari? Because God wants to be glorified. Kasi kung naiintindihan mo, sino mag-glorify? Tao. Pag alam mo kung kaya mong gawin, sino mag-glorify? Yung tao. Jesus Christ is telling us something that we do not know, that we cannot do because He wants to be glorified by it. Kasi kung kaya mo, itatas mo yung sarili mo. Kung naiintindihan mo, itatas mo yung sarili mo. But if you do not understand, you cannot do it, you will glorify God. Lord, salamat po. Hindi ko to alam. But you have done it for me. Do not rely on something that we do. We know. Kaya kadalasan ang utos ng Panginoon hindi natin maintindihan. Because una, He wants to humble us. Pangalawa, ang una pala, He wants to be glorified. At pangalawa, He wants to humble us. Minsan nagiging mataas na tayo. Because of the experience, because of the knowledge na meron tayo bilang mga tao. Amen? Overflowing blessing. If you want to experience overflowing blessing, gusto nyo nag-overflow na blessing? Naranasan natin yan, yung mga nag-overflow na blessing. Hindi nyo alam. Sabihin nyo, nag-uumapaw na yung bilbil ko. Ah. <laughs> overflowing blessing. Lalo na ngayong uh, holiday. Nag-overflow talaga yung blessing. Yung handa mo nung 24 ng gabi, kinakain mo pa rin hanggang ngayon. <laughs> Nag-iiba-iba lang ng itsura, di ba? Pero what I'm saying is, Paano mo daw malalaman na meron kang overflowing blessing? Ganito yan, He allows your own efforts to be unsuccessful. Ginawa mo na lahat, pero wala nangyayari. Pangalawa, you're in a situation when everything seems impossible. Kasi God wants to see. Gusto niya makita natin kung sino talaga ang Diyos. Kasi if He allows your own efforts to be successful, walang Diyos. Eh kapag ka nasa sitwasyon ka na lahat ay posible, relax ka lang. But God puts us to a situation na hindi natin alam. Lord, wala na akong magagawa. Lord, hindi ko maintindihan. Okay. I'll give you a blessing so you will understand who am I. Amen? Now, sabi, remove the stone. Sino kausap niya? Si Martha. Ang sabi ni Martha, Lord, Lord, magalang pa rin. Tayo yan eh. Sinabi ng Panginoon, gawin mo to, Panginoon, pero, tinawag mong Panginoon, laging may, pero. Martha called Jesus Christ, Lord. Lord, pero, mabaho na siya eh. We want to obey, pero, laging may, resistance, ng ating, sarili. Kasi yun yung alam natin eh. Yun yung experience natin. Even, Simon, sabi niya, Master, Tinawag mo pang master. Diba? 
pagkakaalam ko, si Zula nga tinatawag na master dito. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is, ginagalang natin ng Panginoon. He knows, we know His authority. We know His Lordship. Pero lagi tayong may salitang, pero. Lord, Panginoon, Ama, pero. Parang hindi ko magagawa eh. We're that. Minsan naman, dahil alam nating Diyos, alam natin makapangyarihan, even when we doubt, sumusunod na lang din tayo. Sabi dyan, hindi ako kayo ng kwento isa. Naalala nyo yung, uh, hindi, wala akong makita magandang illustration eh. Yung lalaking nakasabit sa cliff, nagsisisigaw siya. May tao ba dyan sa taas? Tulungan niyo ako, malalaglag na ako dito sa bangin. Nanalangin siya sa Panginoon. Panginoon, nandyan po ba kayo? Patunayan yung nandyan kayo. Nanalangin siya. Sumagot ng Panginoon. Sabi niya, Anak, ako ang Diyos. Naniniwala ka ba sa akin? Opo, naniniwala po ako. Naniniwala ka ba talaga sa akin? Opo, naniniwala po talaga ako. Tulungan niyo po ako. Malalaglag na po ako sa bangin. Sige, bumitaw ka. Pinabibitaw. Sabi niya, meron pa ba ibang tao dyan sa taas? <laughs> Hindi ata ako naririnig ng Diyos. Kadalasan, nagsabi na yung Diyos. Pero hindi natin alam, hindi natin maintindihan, hindi natin sinusunod. Sinabi na eh, naniniwala ka ba sa akin? Opo. Tumalong ka. Hindi niya alam, mababalang pala yung babag sa kanya. <laughs> Kasi mas alam ng Panginoon yung kailangan mong gawin kaysa kailangan mong gawin. Sabi nga nila, ang tao, we cannot trust our own mind, our own intuition, not unless you are filled with the Holy Spirit. But at your bidding, I will let down the nets. Bilang paggalang ni Simon kay Jesus, sumunod siya para patunayan niya na, sige, papatunayan ko na mali ang sinasabi mo. O di ba? O oh, kasi sabi niya, Master, we work hard all night. This is the doubt part ni Simon. Sinasabi niya, mas may alam ako sa'yo. I have been fishing for almost my entire life. And you have been preaching for three years. Or sabi natin, wala pa yung three, start pa lang ng ministry of Jesus Christ. Yun, di ba? You have been in the carpentry for the rest of your life. Hindi ka pa naman siguro ng isda. Bumili ka lang ng isda. I have been fishing all my life. This is my business. This is my life. So alam ko. But at your bidding, I will let down the nets. Papatunayan ko sa'yo na tama ang aking sinasabi. Anong nangyari? And when they had done this, they enclosed a great quantity of fish and their nets began to break. Sino nagkamali? Simon, do not put God to the test. Dahil lagi kang mapapahiya sa Panginoon. You will always bow down and said. The purpose of blessing, Jesus is sovereign. Trust Him. Tandaan natin, He created the heaven and the earth and the whole universe with it. Huwag mong sasabihin, mas may alam ka sa Panginoon. Huwag mong sasabihin, dahil may masteral ka, may doctoral ka, yung doctoral mo, dinoctoral mo pa ulit. Mas alam mo na ang lahat sa Panginoon. No. No one can outsmart the one who created you. Sabi nga, Jesus is sovereign. Trust Him. Yun yung purpose ng blessing. Pinibigyan ka ng blessing for you to trust Him more. Amen? Now, sabi dyan, because of the foolishness, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. Hindi ko sinasabing foolish ang Panginoon, pero sinasabi dyan, yung pinakamatalinong tao sa mundo kamang mangan lang sa harap ng Panginoon. Yung pinakamalakas na tao sa buong mundong ito, kahinaan lang ng Panginoon. So you can never, ever tell God, mas may alam ako sa'yo. Amen? And they signaled to their partners in the other boat for them to come and help them, and they came and filled both of the boats, so they began to sink. Tinawag yung kasamahan sa pangpang. Dalawang bangka. Dalawang bangka, gano'ng kalaki yung bangka? Yan, the first century Galilean fishing boat. 
Kung i-compare natin sa panahon ngayon, kasi laki siya ng May Dubai truck. Ah, hindi pala siya May Dubai. Akala ko May Dubai. Kasi laki siya niyan. At ang sabi doon, filled with fish and it began to, bre- to sink. How can you sink a boat? It's not just the quantity, but the weight of the fish. Ang alam ng mga mangingisda, hindi sila makakahuli sa gitna ng dagat. Ang alam ng mga mangingisda, hindi sila makakahuli sa umaga. Ang hindi nila alam, si Jesus Christ, ang sabi niya, lahat ng isda, kinausap niya lahat ng isda, pumunta kayo sa gitna ng dagat, maghintay kayo dyan, pumunta kayo sa net. Yes! Because He is God. He can do that. Ang tao kasi masyado tayong relying on our own intelligence, relying our own intuition, relying on our own experience, not knowing God can command everything on earth. Dalawang may Dubai na truck, puno. Hindi ng tubig, ha, ng isda. So, gano'ng kabigat, gano'ng karami yung isda? Sabi dyan, filled both of the boats so they began to sink. But Simon Peter saw that he fell down at Jesus' feet saying, Depart from me. For I am a sinful man, O Lord. Sinful man. Bakit sinabi ni Peter na sinful siya? Because he doubted Jesus. Doubting God. Ibig sabihin, doubting God is a sin. If you have faith in God and you start doubting God, you start sinning against God. Sabi niya, depart from me. For I am a sinful man, O Lord. For amazement has seized him and all his companions because of the catch of fish which they had taken. Look at this, amazement. Namangha sila. Kung ikaw ay nangingista sa buong buhay mo at namangha ka sa huli mo, ibig sabihin, first time in their lives they have catch such quantity of fish. Kasi hindi ka ma-amaze kung araw-araw ka nangingisda, gabi-gabi ka nangingisda, nakita mo na yung pinakamarami mong huli, nakita mo na yung pinakakaunti mong huli, nakita mo na yung average mong huli, but nakita nila to, sabi nila, amazement. Namangha sila. It's more than what they expect. It's more than that what they think. Lagi nga sinasabi ni Pastor Rodel, uh, more than what you think or ask or what you can imagine. Ganon magpala ang Panginoon. Amen? The purpose of blessing, we are sinners. Ask Him for forgiveness. Nung pinagpala si Peter, hindi niya sinabing, Wow, marami kaming isda. Marami kaming kita. Sabi nga sa Romans 2, 4, Or do you think lightly of the richness of His kindness and forbearance and patience, not knowing that the kindness of God leads you to repentance? God's blessing should lead us to repentance, not the other way around. Kasi ang nangyayari, pagka-bless tayo, we tend to look at, us, at our blessing as confirmation of how good we are. I am blessed dahil magaling ako. I am blessed dahil matalino ako. I am blessed dahil masipag ako. Tandaan nyo, binibigyan tayo ng blessing ng Panginoon to remind us, it's me who is blessing you. Amen? Nakakalimutan natin yun eh. When we doubt, we rely on ourselves. When we are blessed, we rely on ourselves. It's all ourselves not knowing all blessing comes from God. Pagka nangyari yun, nakakalimutan na natin may Diyos. Sarili na lang natin na iniisip natin. Dahil magaling ako, dahil masipag ako, dahil nag-aral ako ng ganito, dahil nag-masteral ako, kaya malaking sahod ko. No. We have to think, Lord, I may be so sinful, kaya mo ko pinagpapala. Marami siguro kung nagawang kasalanan, kaya mo ko binibless ng ganito. Blessing should remind us that we are sinful. Kasi minsan nakakalimutan natin eh. And so also James and John, son of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon and Jesus said to them, Do not fear. From now on, you will be catching men. Ano ibig sabihin? No? Magiging pulis sila. <laughs> Kasi mahuhuli sila ng tao. 
Hindi po. Alam niyo, alam niyo naman ang ibig sabihin nun. They will be preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not just catching men, they will be winning men for Christ. Amen? Pata maganda dyan. And when they had brought their boats to the land, they left everything and followed Him. They have, nakita nila yung pinakamatinding catch sa buhay, ang buong buhay nila. Yung huli na yon, pwede na siguro sila magpatayo ng condominium dun sa Galilee. Think of how much money they can make dun sa dami ng isda na nahuli nila. If they will be talking about the quantity and the price of the fish, mayama na sila. I don't say they left what? Everything. And followed Him. Kadalasan, ganun tayo eh. Pagka sobrang blessed ka sa lugar na ito, sinasabi mo, Lord, be with me. Samahan mo ako sa aking trabaho. Samahan mo ako sa aking ginagawa. Pero ang sabi ng Panginoon, No, I will not follow you. Follow me. One purpose, and the last purpose ng blessing is, look at the blesser, not the blessing. Amen? Follow Jesus. Kadalasan, if we are blessed in a certain situation, ayaw na natin umalis. Even Friday, magtatrabaho kasi sobrang blessed ka sa lugar na yon. Because we look at the blessing, hindi natin tinitingnan kung sino nagbigay sa'yo. And Peter Simon and John have seen the one who have given them the greatest catch of their lives. Hindi sila nag-focus dun sa laki nung nahuli nila. They focus on the one who gave it. Okay, hayaan natin yan. Follow him. If he can do that, he can do more. If God can bless you in your workplace, at home, he can do that everywhere else. Do not settle on what you have. If God tells you to go, you go. Because He is the source of all the blessing na meron tayo. Amen? So ngayong taon, and I believe, na lahat ay pagpapalain ng Panginoon, we have to be reminded of His purpose. Tandaan natin, lahat ng blessing ng Panginoon nang galing sa Kanya. If He tells us, if sinabi niya gawin natin to, you follow. If we have doubt, you follow. If you have fear, you follow. Because dahil nalaman natin, God is sovereign. We have to trust God. The purpose of blessing, minsan, is to remind us na anak, masyado ka nang gumagawa ng hindi naaayon sa aking kalooban. Nakakalimutan mo na ako, nakakalimutan mo na magbasa ng Bible, nakakalimutan mo na magdasal, nakakalimutan mo na makifellowship sa aking family, because of the blessing na meron ka, you focus more, your, more of your time sa ganung bagay other than focusing on me. And the last purpose ng blessing is to remind us not to focus on the blessing itself, but the source of the blessing. If God has been blessing you last year or even this year, tandaan nyo, mas kaya pa niya i-bless ang bawat isa more than what you have today. So never focus on what you have. Never rely on what you know, what your experience is. Rely on God. He is the greatest blesser na meron tayo ngayon. And Jesus Christ is the greatest blessing na meron ang bawat isang narito. Amen? I'm not talking about just material things. I'm talking about every blessing na meron tayo in every aspect ng ating buhay. It's a year of increase. Naniniwala ko doon. Not just increase ng weight. Not just... <laughs> not, not just increase ng utang. But I'm praying at naniniwala ko is an increase of faith. Increase of trust to God. Increase ng lahat ng bagay siya ang may gawa. Sabi nga, in everything na nangyayari, God is sovereign. Sabi nga, if, if you joyfully put everything in God's hand, you will see God's hand in everything. Kung lahat ng bagay ginagawa mo, alam mong ginagawa ng Diyos, lagi mo makikita ang Panginoon. So I pray, ito 2019, hindi lang increase ng dami ng 
ating kapatid dito sa lugar na ito, we may be moving to other place, we do not know. But the fact is, we are going to be blessed and remember the purpose of blessing. Tayo pong lahat ay manalangin. Panoon, salamat pong muli sa umagang ito. We praise you, we glorify you. We pray for the next coming year, pagpalaan mo hindi lang ang aming uh, individual lives, hindi lang ang aming family, but the family ng Rejoice Sharja as well, Panginoon. Hindi lamang in numbers, hindi lamang in commitment, pat ang aming uh, pananampalataya sa iyo bilang yung mga disciples, bilang yung mga anak, at bilang yung mga sugo sa lugar na ito. Maging ilaw at asin pa kami, Panginoon, patuloy na nag papahayag ng yung kadakilaan, hindi lamang verbally, but sa aming mga actions, o oh God, makita nilang iba ang anak mo, Panginoon, sa ibang tao. Lord, we pray also na maging uh, sandata namin na aming mga napag-aralan sa mga darating na araw, hindi lamang sa araw ng Friday, hindi lamang sa apat na sulok ng bulwagang ito, but we may leave every word na sinasabi mo sa amin. Every Friday, sino man na naghahayag nito, Panginoon, because we know, Your word is alive at ikaw ang nagsasalita sa amin, O Father. Lord, salamat po. And we give you back all the glory in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen.